Greetings everyone. Today we want to introduce how you can convert an InDesign document to editable Word and PowerPoint files using ID2 Office, the InDesign to Office formats conversion tool from RecoSoft. ID2 Office is a plugin for InDesign and supports InDesign CS5 through CS6 for both the Mac and Windows platforms. Once the plugin is installed, you get a RecoSoft menu in InDesign that says ID to Office export to Office format. To convert an InDesign file to Word or PowerPoint type, you need to have an open and save InDesign file and use the ID to Office export to Office format command from the RecoSoft menu. Let's export the document we have open in front of us to the Word type. So we select the ID to Office export to Office format command. We immediately notice that the ID to Office options window appears. The ID to Office options window allows you to make settings to fine tune the InDesign to Office formats conversion. We'll get to the settings a little later. For now, let's export the InDesign file to the Word format and observe the results. We immediately observe that you can specify whether you want to export to Word or PowerPoint format. As Word is selected by default, we just need to click Export in this case. Let's click Export. We now see the ID to Office Export window appear where we get to name the file. As the file has already been named for us with a .docx at the end, let's just click Save. Um, ID to Office at this point in time will spend some time analyzing the document and will go through the process of creating a Word document or PowerPoint document. When the export is complete, ID to, ID to Office informs you, and here it informed us, so let's just click OK. Let's go to Word, as we have it running here, and open up the converted document. We go to Open Command in Word, and we see that the document has been created. We say Open, and it's open. Let's compare the Word document with the original InDesign document. As we notice here, the text over here is live and editable, just like how it's live and editable in InDesign. Over here is the Word document. Just close this to make it much easier to view. We also notice how the graphic has been retained, the image size. Now we scroll down, we notice how the layout fidelity, let's just tweak our InDesign view over here. We notice immediately how the layout has also been maintained and how all the text is live and editable. We notice text properties here as being live and editable. Now, another thing we notice is that the graphics is properly placed and that the table properties are also intact. So we see a table over here. Let's just send the image behind the text and we'll immediately notice that the table is selectable. It's a real word table that we have here. And we notice that yes, this was a real InDesign table over here. So as you can see that the formatting is very much retained. We get paragraphs, we get tables, and we get graphics. There is no need to recreate the document from scratch, which saves you a lot of time. Now, let's go back and explore the various settings available in ID to Office. So, let's just close this, and let's get back to InDesign, and let's switch to a different InDesign document. Here again, we want to use the ID to Office export to Office format command and we see that the ID to Office options window has appeared. As we explore the various settings available in this window, we learn that we can specify the image type that we want to convert to. We can specify TIFF or PNG. We further notice that you can specify the image resolution. So these are available resolutions over here. As we move further down, 
it says include graphics in the exported file. When this setting is on, graphics is included in the exported file. We move further down and we notice that format tables to the exact size option exists. Tables in Word and PowerPoint are not exactly the same as tables in InDesign. By having this option set, the table dimensions are formatted exactly as InDesign tables. Next we have set white areas transparent in images. InDesign allows you to apply some neat transformations to graphics such as transparencies and apply other effects. A lot of these effects aren't available in Word or PowerPoint. Thus, by turning on this option, the white area of, an, of graphics becomes transparent in the resulting Word or PowerPoint file, and the background colors can see through, retaining the look and feel of the original InDesign file. Moving further down, we see the option Convert Linked Frames to Office-Style Linked Frames. When ID to Office exports the Word format, it maintains the layout by converting InDesign frames to Word text frames. During this process, if the setting is on, it ensures that frames that are threaded in InDesign are threaded in the resulting Word file. Moving down again, we see that we have Convert Style Sheets to Office Style Sheets. This setting guarantees that InDesign character and paragraph style sheets are propagated to the resulting Word file. Further down, we have Exclude Hidden Layers. When this is set, hidden layers in the InDesign document are ignored and not processed when converted to the Word or PowerPoint formats. Then we have Convert Page Transitions to Office Transitions. This option is only available when you, when you want to export to the PowerPoint format. Basically, InDesign page transitions that have been applied are processed and propagated to the resulting PowerPoint file. Going further down, we see process and apply shadow. When this is set, the drop shadow property is processed. When converting to PowerPoint format, let's just click export as PowerPoint file over here. You can observe this. When you convert to the PowerPoint format, you finally get to you even you further get to specify whether you want the drop shadow property as you know when you whether whether you want to apply the outer or inner drop shadow property. Finally, we have this option when converting paragraph line spacing. In InDesign, every line can have a different line spacing within a paragraph, but that's not possible in Word or PowerPoint. Thus, you have control over the line spacing char characteristics via the line, via the line spacing list. You can choose from the four values that we've provided over here. You see that it says use maximum value, use average value, use minimum value, and use first line value. Ordinarily, use average value works very well. Now. Let's export the file that we have in, over here to the PowerPoint format. So let's just click export and we'll again click save. And we notice that ID to Office will go through the InDesign document. It'll process it for export at, and it should be done in a few in a few short seconds. This is a 14 page InDesign file that is being exported to the PowerPoint format. And it should just come up right now. And here we go. The export process is complete. We click OK. We see that the PowerPoint file has been created. So we just double click on the PowerPoint file that's been created. And it opens up in PowerPoint. And we notice that this is the original InDesign document on the left and the, and the resulting converted PowerPoint file to the right. We notice that the text is editable and the layout has been maintained. So we scroll down the document. We notice how the text is live. All graphics are intact. 
we scroll further and we notice again the text is live graphics are intact and there's no need to recreate the document from scratch in PowerPoint. ID to Office provides a lot of control when exporting to when exporting an InDesign file to the Office formats for you to achieve the best conversion results. ID to Office has been engineered and developed by Recosoft. For more information, please visit us at www.recosoft.com. That's www.recosoft.com. Thank you.